some of the time you might have a used data something like that and you want to study and you want to get the information like number of units minimum price of each type maximum price of each type total invoice of each type and for that you can use this kind of syntax if you notice these all are the functions which are called summarization function in proxql welcome to the channel to understand the concept very clearly please watch the video till the end once you are done with watching the video do not forget to like comment subscribe and hit the bell icon today we're gonna see these all are the functions which are used for summarization of tables or to have a summarized study of your table in SAS. Out of, out of all these options, the functions which are most commonly used are these. Out of this all, we will study some of them. Rest of these functions are quite statistical, which we could cover when we start statistical learning in SAS. So to study these functions, we will use these two variables or from the table cars. So let's go ahead and see the functions one by one. So the first summary function which we're gonna see is count frick or n. Here frick stands for frequency and n stands for number of observation count is quite obvious to understand means it is counting the occurrences of observation in a table so if you see it says aggregate number of non-missing values so this all these three functions gives you the same number and those numbers are non-missing values of a given table sorry of a given variable let's go to the sas and try using all of these so here previously it has been used so the first function we're gonna use is either count freak or and I'll show you all of this three so here we have a table in SAS help library and the table name is cars here is the table which contains many variables and observation out of which we will consider only two variable to see the summarization we will start as usual meaning with proc sql and end the statement with quit and in between we gonna put the syntax so as usual we will start select and we want to summarize this data we want to see all the summarized information in corresponding to the type of cars. So first we're going to select type. Then we want to see count. Right. So for count we can type count. And we want to take the count of observations in table. Alright. So for that you can put star. This will count all the observations. And you can give a name like count of ops means observations same thing you will get with freq function but here you need to provide a variable name to which you want to count the observation let's take an example if you provide type over here and if type variable has some missing value that will not be counted only the non-missing will value will be counted over here frequency of observations then same thing we can obtain using the type function as number of observations and the source is from sas help dot cars and always remember when we are using any kind of summarization function we must do a grouping so for that we will use group by group by type you can write here we want to group this information and see it for type so instead of typing instead of writing type you can also write one means 
it will group the data on first variable and then end with a semicolon run this here you can see the information all right means for hybrid car it has three units for suv it has 60 units and if you can see all of these have same information means there is no missing observation because count will take total count of the observation in a table but frequency and end are going to show you non-missing values in the given variable now let's go to the slide again and see next function the next function we're gonna see min means we're gonna find the minimum value of a given variable so here we have one variable invoice which is which we can see which we can say the sale price or maybe we can take msrp or invoice here we will take invoice and we're going to see what is the minimum invoice for type suv same what is the minimum su invoice for type sedan so let's go ahead and try that you don't have to do much min and invoice as minimum invoice and we we have to keep it grouped on type then and then you can just have it running here you can see so the minimum invoice for hybrid is 17,911 and so on. Let's see what next we have. Next we have max. The same thing you will get the maximum. For example, you want to find what is the maximum invoice. Then you can type max and in the parenthesis operator, you just need to put max as max invoice. And you can again have it running. So you can see the maximum invoice for hybrid is 18,926. Let's see what next we have. Next we have average or mean. Both of these two things perform the same operation. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to see what is the average, average invoice of each type. So you can just have it copy and paste over here as average invoice. Okay, let's run this and see here you have the average invoice. The second function for same thing you had was mean. Mean as mean of invoice again you can run this and you would see it has the same output over here you can see it has the same number so mean and average both of these two things are same if you have studied statistics you'll know this okay and next we have range so here we saw the minimum minimum invoice was 17911 for hybrid type and the maximum was 899 8, sorry 18926 and the minimum invoice was 17911 so what is the range in what range the hybrid type exists all right so the range is the difference between minimum invoice or minimum value of a given variable and the maximum value of the given variable that's what called the range so let's see how we can find the range range invoice as range of invoice let's run this here you can see the range of hybrid is 1015 similarly the range of truck is 36662 this is how you can use the range function then you can use standard deviation so for standard deviation, what is standard deviation for that? You need to read statistics, which we will cover in our statistical learning. But here I will just show you how you can use that. 
first you need to type std then invoice as std of invoice oops std of invoice let's run this and see here is the standard deviation std is nothing it's just a center of dispersion it tells you around what invoice the prices are dispersed right so for to understand it more you'll have to wait for our statistical learning videos for now if you are interested you can just google it and learn more about it then you can see the sum which is quite obvious function which i use most frequently so for that if you want to take the sum of all the invoice for each type then you can just use sum invoice as sum of sorry i just reduced its magnification this is now 100 percent and then run this so here you can see it's the sum of invoices so this is how you can use the summary summarization functions in sas to group by a given variable and see the summary by that variable so this was the so this was summarized on type if you want you can include many variables over here so let's see if we can include some more variables so what variable can we use with this we can use make as well or we can use origin any of the categorical variable you can use with that let's use drive train so the second variable which we want to group here train and then in group by you will have to put the second variable name either you can type the variable name or you can just put the sequence of that and then just have it running so you get this information you get the information like this so it's a, it says that you have a type suv and in suv you have two drive trains one is all the other one is front and then as for suv all you have 38 units for suv front you have 22 units and same the information follows you can just try it at yourself as many for variable categorical variables you want you can include over here and you can do not forget to put them in include them in group by statement if you don't put that that will not give you a correct information so thank you very much for watching the video i just hope you like this if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button if you have any kind of doubt on this video please do not forget to put your feedback in the comment section till now enjoy and have a great day